So first part I'm going to get you do, Mark, is Mark, can you just step your left foot out to the left a little bit, which is your back foot? Yeah. And then I want you to lift your back heel off the ground. So come onto your tippy toe, yeah. And then with your hands on your hips, square the front of your hips towards the short edge of your mat, the front of your mat. So back heel off the ground allows for us to not have a torque in the knee. If you try to square the hips with the back heel on the ground, the, e the knee tends to eat it, okay? This looks amazing. So see the front of the pelvis is squared with the front edge of his mat. And then what I'm gonna get you to do from here, Mark, is put your back heel on the ground. Yeah, that feel okay? And okay meaning that like it doesn't feel like it's too much of a stretch, yeah. If it ever, if you have a hard time putting your back heel on the ground, you would just scoot your back foot closer towards your front foot. And I don't care how wide your feet are front to back. To me, that's not important. What's important is what's happening with the pelvis because that's gonna tell me what's gonna, whether or not we're gonna really uh, get into the quadriceps and psoas, okay? So this looks awesome. I'm actually just gonna get you to pivot your back toes forward a little bit so that they're more on a diagonal, yeah. And what that does is it just internally rotates. The more you pivot your back toes forward, the more it internally rotates the back thigh, which naturally will draw the back hip forward, okay? Whenever the legs are open, okay, the front leg 99% of the time is externally rotating and the back leg is internally rotating, okay? So they're essentially both going over towards the right, but this is an external rotation of the, of the right thigh and this is an internal rotation of the left thigh, okay? So always when the legs are apart, the front leg is generally rolling out towards the pinky toe side of the foot and the back leg is generally rolling in towards the big toe side of that of that foot, okay? So from here, Mark, thank you for everything, uh, bend back into your front knee until your front knee is over your front ankle. Yeah, great, okay. So uh, just with a nod, yes or no, do you feel a very similar sensation in your legs and your pelvis that you did in Warrior One? Not quite as tight. Yeah, not quite as tight because the stance is much shorter. So we're, we're, we're not asking as much in the groin and the inner thighs. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, great. So as we bend into the front knee, it naturally happened. The left hip went back. So to the best of your ability, my friend, can you draw your left hip forward, your right hip back? Yeah. Keep your torso as it is. And people do this. It's, oh, I, I, this is great. Isolate the movement to just the pelvis, keeping the torso as it is. Square, yeah, square the front of the pelvis towards the front of the mat. That is so good, friend. Okay, and now from here, where would you say you feel the sensation the most in terms of a stretch or a strengthening? And feel free to speak it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're feeling your lower back is what you're telling me? Good, and then you're feeling your quadriceps in your back leg. Okay, can I get you to straighten your front leg? Yeah, it's easier to manipulate the pelvis uh, with the front knee straight. And now from here, Mark, like we did in lunge pose, can I get you to lift your pubic bone towards your belly button? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what this does, he naturally did it, I don't know if you're able to see it, but it, his core naturally engaged and his lower back lengthened. And if I can get you to do it one more time, pubic bone towards belly, yeah. Do you feel how your glutes just lit up? Mm -hmm. Okay, now keep that and now bend back into your front knee and tell me if it takes it out of your lower back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, great. So that's why it's, it's really nice if you uh, have the opportunity to teach privates um, to be able to talk it through with people because everyone's bodies are so different. So he's drawing the, I'm just putting my fingertips on his sacrum and drawing his sacrum down and he's gently lifting the pubic bone up. And now do you feel more in your quadriceps of your back leg? Cool, okay. Now the next little part is his torso is leaning a little, it's leaning forward versus directly upright. That's okay. It's just telling me again, quadriceps so as are tight. And um, by leaning forward, it gives the lower back a bit more space. So that's great, no problem. And now get your chest to, to line up with the front edge of your mat. Yeah, nice work, friend. And then um, from here, I'm gonna get you to open your arms into a V shape, a big V, just so you don't touch the globe. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're great, okay. So next part, as the arms go up towards the sides, lifting up through the sideways, so from hips to armpits, getting longer here. And then you can look up towards the sky, but again, generally, I like people to look directly forward, so chin is parallel to the ground, right? And then top of the head is going up towards the sky, okay? And then from here again, just if you can, Mark, just soften your front ribs down a little bit. Oh, yes! And then I'm just gonna put my hand back here just as a reminder for you, and just see if you can breathe into the back of your heart. Okay, so I'll generally um, do light touch on this one, but I usually try to get people to touch their own bodies in terms of adjustments, to touch their own bodies to find their way. And then if they don't get it, then I'll, I'll come in and do a bit more of an adjustment in terms of the pelvis and what's going on, okay? And so from here, put your hands down on the ground and step back down, dog. 
yeah. Nice work. Okay. Then I'll get you to turn and do down dog in the other direction, the direction we started with, and we'll do warrior one on the other side.